So I did a thing. I simulated 50 mock drafts for the upcoming draft for the Cincinnati Bengals. Four seven-round mock drafts for the Cincinnati Bengals um, on Pro Football Focus's mock draft simulator. Because I wanted to see, if I did it 50 times, who are the Bengals going to take? And I'll tell you right now, I think we have a total of 300 different players totally that the Bengals could take. So, as well, I'm telling you right now, if the Bengals do not take at least one player that is listed in this video, I will be heavily freaking surprised. So, let's break this down. Some of these first round picks makes me cra scratch my head, okay? For example, the first one was defense alignment Mozzie Smith. And I said this before, I truly believe Bengals take offensive line a tackle as their first pick in the draft. That's number one. That's my personal opinion. Brodick Jones, Antoine Harrison, that's it. Or obviously Jones too, if possible, right tackle. Offensive line. Now, in all 50 simulations, they only have, surprisingly enough, I think it's like one or two where Michael Mayer is actually drafted to them. Now, keep in mind, though, Michael Mayers might be gone by the time they draft. A lot of these key players we really do like for the Bengals here, they might be completely gone. And what you're seeing a lot of, and as we go down here, is one name that really pops up a lot is the edge rusher from Georgia, Nolan Smith, Antoine Harrison, left tackle, cornerback, Twyquan Stevenson, number three, and then number four, another guy that pops up a lot, and that's actually the guy that pops up the most after those three guys, is either one of the tight ends, Mike Mayers, or it's, um, what's his name, Dalton. Dalton Kincaid. So, those are the players that the mock draft absolutely love for the Cincinnati Bengals. Keep in mind, this is not just some, you know, knockoff mock draft. This is a mock draft that is created by Pro Football Focus to be as smart as humanly possible when it comes to, you know, creating the best scenarios. So, at least, looking at this mock draft, they have them taking a defensive player at least 60% of the time. I don't think that's realistic. They also have a couple receivers. They have Jalen Hyatt. They have Jalen Hyatt again. Um, Zay Flowers a couple of times. I don't really know if I trust a uh, wide receiver. They're not going to take a wide receiver in the draft, by the way. In the they're not going to take a receiver in the first four rounds. Absolutely no way in heck, right? But realistically, out of these first round picks, I think Harrison is realistic. Nolan Smith is realistic. And I think Dalton or Michael Mayer is realistic. Those are the picks I think are realistic in the first round. Obviously, it also has another edge rusher here, a defensive lineman, Brian Brees. That's another guy I've heard some rumors about that Cincinnati could take. Now, in the second round, this was almost all linemen. I mean, you can see how many OTs are in this second round. And I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if Cincinnati took offensive lineman, offensive lineman. Back-to-back -back tackles, right? It's very possible they could take a left tackle in the first round, right tackle in the second round. But... You can see how many different players that they have for the Bengals here. They have Matthew Bergeson, uh, Tyler Steen, um, Cody March, um, Clark, oh no, Clark Phillips cornerback here. Um, and obviously, you don't know Washington showed up a little bit. But pretty much tackle is the number one. And, you, and mo mainly of this was Cody March and Tyler Steen. Really solid tackles here. So... A lot of those. Uh, Josh Downs made a couple appearances. And like I said before, yes, Clark Phillips also showed up a lot. So, and we're running 50 tests. I mean, we're running 50 different mock drafts. You know, they're separate each one. So, it looks like based on what we are seeing here, that the project the projection is that this 50 mock drafts thinks that the Bengals are going to take Nolan Smith, edge rusher, then take a tackle. So, edge rusher, tackle. 
in the third round here, it actually has the Cincinnati Bengals taking. There were some cornerbacks, but there was majority defense alignment. I mean, we had and we have all types of defense alignment. Gerard Dexter, Zach, uh, Kino, um, Jerron, um, what's it called? And a lot of the same names over and over again. I'm trying to see if I see anybody else new. We have some tackles here too. But yeah, so we have like overwhelmingly defensive line. Now obviously there are some halfbacks in here, cornerbacks in here, safeties in here. Sidney Brown was another name that was really talked about a lot. J.L. Skinner was talked about a lot in this mock draft. Um, but overwhelmingly defensive line. So based on this draft, edge rusher, then it's... Um, tackle then it's defensive line now the next one we have let me go ahead and move over to the so we can see the rest of these and now these are the picks three through seven again guys this took me like six hours to do <laughs> just going through all these mocks writing down every single player and it, it was a process anyway so third round now you can see that we do have a lot of tackles right got a lot of good tackles here but uh, some more defensive line. It's kind of mixed how they have this. And let me make sure we're seeing all the players. Actually, we're not seeing all the players. My my apologies. Make this smaller. There we go. Let me make this smaller for you guys. All right. So, yeah. So, same concept what I said before. But now going into the third round. Third round and above. And uh, after. And I'm about to move my beautiful face here to the corner so we can see some more of these picks. Alright, so for the third round, it actually had a lot of defense alignment again. A lot of defense alignment were projected to the Bengals, which is not surprising to the Bengals. Third and fourth round is usually when they take, you know, their defense alignment and pass rushers. So, a lot of guys, a couple halfbacks projected, cornerbacks projected, but mainly defense alignment. Fourth round was kind of all over the place. There was really no indication on where they would go in the fourth round. There were some receivers, offensive tackles. I think, no, actually no, never mind. I want to correct myself here. Fourth round was all OT. You see how many offensive tackles were in that fourth round. There's a lot of tackles in the fourth round. So what it looks like is first round, edge rusher. Second round, tackle. Third round, defensive line. Fourth round is going to be all offensive tackle. So you're going to take edge rusher, tackle, defensive line, tackle. Fifth round. That was all defensive line. For the most part, you can see all the DLs. That's all defensive line again. So that's all defensive line yet again. The sixth round is all ta is a lot of tackles, but a lot of cornerbacks. There's a crap ton of cornerbacks. So sixth round of corners. And then seventh round is going to be a majority of, it's a mix of corners and tackles. So, kind of a mixed mass of those things. And again, like I said, at the end of the day, I mean, you go through this. This is 50 different rounds, right? You got to think. Let me see. So, 50 times, what, 7 rounds? 350 rounds. So, 350 players being drafted here. So, at the end of the day, you know, and again, obviously, most a lot of players have repeated throughout that. But, it's going to be interesting to see what the Bengals do. I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to hopefully do something special. Because I'm going to be interested to see how this ends up turning out. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm definitely interested because, you know, we always talk about mock drafts and we always see different mock drafts. But I don't think we ever see them in this aspect range. We don't see 50 of them, okay? <laughs> we don't got to see 50 of them. Now, of course, this is based on a simulator by Pro Football Focus, so, you know, this isn't created by a human, it's not created by me, it's not created by an expert, it's created by what should be a system, a computer system, that's supposed to know what it's talking about, right? It's supposed to know based on what the Bengals do, the tendencies, and all that kind of stuff too. It should not just be random nonsense, it should actually have some logic behind it. And for the most part, like I said before, there are some willy-nilly picks okay let's be honest like taking a receiver in the first round is just absolutely god awful it had by the way in all 50 picks has by uh by Jen robinson going one time to the Bengals. 
that surprised me immensely. Now, you might say, why did that surprise you so much? Because obviously, you know, why would the Bengals take a running back in the first round? Well, this is the only running back, I think, in the first round that people actually are talking about is by Jen Robinson because he has so much potential to be amazing in the NFL. He comes from Alabama. And a lot of people are excited about him completely. A lot of people are saying he could be the best running back for the foreseeable future. So that's the only reason why I expected, you know, how this, you know, mock draft would go. Is that he would be used a little bit more than he was. But surprisingly enough, he wasn't. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.